So here I am with DJ Semtex, the living legend. Now we're at the book launch outside the social and this is where I usually come to go to the hip hop karaoke night. Have you been to the hip hop karaoke here? Yeah, yeah. I'm loving that. So you've just dropped your book, Hip Hop Raised Me. So tell me why now? Why is it that you had to drop this book? Well, it's the launch for the book. The book's coming out in October the 6th. Right. And um, basically, it, it's, it's the right time, I think. You know, I've, I've been fortunate to witness a lot of things over the years. Hip hop keeps getting bigger and bigger. And it's like, you know, like at what point, if I don't do it now, when am I going to do it? You yeah, know? true. And it's like, do it now and then do volume two, three, four when the time's right. So you, as well. you got more in plan. You got more plan. Yeah, because th it just scratches the surface. And usually you got an album ready to come yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, when's yeah. that gonna drop? Do you reckon? Um, October the sixth as well. Okay, so on this album, what can we expect? Yeah. Hip hop bangers. It's Hip hop like, bangers. Are you yeah, gonna, are you gonna be rapping on any of these? Nah, 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 nah. Just mix sure. I'm gonna mix one disc and then the rest of it's just gonna be like three discs, two discs where it's just like straight up bangers and then one disc mixed by me. Okay. So it's just it's just basically like. Oh, I'm a hip hop album. Just put it on. Yeah, that's nice. And then so you've been working it. for one extra for how long now? Fifteen years. Fifteen years. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. what made you decide? What made you think? Right. Okay. This is what I want to do for a living now. You know, I got my education. Like I went to college, mm. got my degree, and I always wanted to work in music. If I didn't work in music, I had a plan B, C, D, and E. So okay. I've just been fortunate enough to be able to do something I love doing every day. I work with some amazing people play some amazing music and I've yeah. been fortunate to be able to turn it into a living. So, so you were with, I, I see pictures in, in the book, you work with the likes of Jay-Z, Kanye West, uh, Slick Rick, some of the old school people. So what was it like kind of meeting these people as a lover of their music? Sometimes it's jaw dropping. Really? Sometimes it's like, it's just, it's just straight up, um, what's the word? Fascination. Really? You know, sometimes so it's like, yeah, it depends from artist to artist what their music means to you. Yeah. I think for me to meet someone like Jay Z, it'll be someone, you know, someone it'll be mean something to somebody else. Like uh, I've interviewed Drake loads of times. Okay. He's dope and everything else, but to somebody else, they they might see that as the ultimate. It depends. Like really? every artist is different to each. So what person. was Drake like when you met Drake? Mad cool. Drake's, really? Yeah, Drake's wicked, so the, man. There's been a lot of hype around like Kanye West because he's very controversial, isn't he? Um, I mean, a lot of people have said that he's kind of lost his mind. He's a bit like out there. What, what, what's your opinion on Kanye? Kanye is a genius. Yeah. Kanye West is a genius, and that's it. That's all there is to yeah. it. So, so to, to all the haters out there, Kanye West is a genius. To all the haters who misunderstand Kanye's work, um, you will understand and you will change your mind at a later point in time. He's the greatest artist that you know is doing his thing across hip hop. You've got great MCs, you've got great producers. He does everything. He's a creative yeah. visionary. He's the greatest. He's, he's one of the greatest starters of our generation. So he's a genius. You came up as a youth. You got to where you got, got to. What advice would you give to the people out there that want to become DJs, producers, and stuff like that? What would you say to them to make it happen? It's work. Work. <laughs> work. And then work and work and work. Work, work, work. That's all there is. It's like, it's, it's non-stop. It's a non-stop hustle. If you want to succeed, you gotta get up an hour earlier, go to bed an hour later than everybody else, and that's it. It's like I've got these bags under my eyes permanent. Because you're working, you're working yeah. hard, right? It's like, so crazy. who would be, who would you say that is your inspiration? That's, you know, made you get to where you have got to in life. Um, it's different people. I think there's been different points in my life where Chuck D from Public Enemy influenced me, or Jay Z influenced me, or Kanye influenced me, Dizzy Rascals influenced me. Right. There's different points in time where different artists do different things that inspire you. So it, it, hip hop as a whole has inspired me across the board, and that's why it's called Hip Hop Raised Me because it's, it's I've been inspired by. And it has raised you. Yeah. Like, so like I see Chuck D's got a little bit of a um, a piece in your book. He wrote a little something for you. How did that forward. come? He wrote the forward yeah, for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So how did that come to about to happen? Um, I'm a massive fan. Um, I've respected his music and his music opened my eyes and my ears and my mind at a certain point in my life. So I've always, you know, it takes a nation of millions and fear of a black planet and other works, public enemy, you know, have been a big part of my life. So, so he's a big inspiration to de you. Yeah. Definitely. I've interviewed them a couple of times and then because so I, I was writing a book, I was who else am I going to get to write the yeah, forward? Yeah, so who else? Be him. Yeah. Be him. So I just, I emailed him. I explained what I wanted to do with the book, what it was about, and see, he's got a different understanding from other rappers in the US. Really? He, he understood the importance of overseas before everybody else. So, me reaching out, he, you know, 
I'm, I'm a byproduct of what he's done. Oh, I so see. he was he was like, of course, and he was very gracious with what he said and appreciate everything. That's nice you know, of him to do incredibly that. Incredibly fortunate. Like, so you see, my inspiration yeah. in my life when it comes to me has always been Eminem, and I noticed that you've met him. What was he like yeah. to me? Eminem's cool. I mean, I think I met him at a point where he was very guarded, right. um, and he was cool, but he's dope. Um, and he's definitely one of the top five greatest MCs of all time. Yeah. It's all about Jay Z, though. <laughs> oh, you all about Jay Z? That's your boy. Jay Z is the shit. Yeah, mate, mate, you can't knock Jay Z off the map, though. Look how long he's been in the game for. Jay, Jay Z is he's, he's he's omnipotent. He's yeah. He's a know. proper businessman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's everything. Everybody, every MC wanted to be like Jay Z at some point in their career. Yeah. And he's done what most people will never do. And as a lyricist. He's, he's on top of the game. You know what? Thank you for talking to us, DJ no Semtex. Problem, That's been right. So, if you had no one, one last word that you could say to the users out there that are trying to make it as artists, as DJs, as rappers, what would you say to them? Um, believe in yourself and don't listen to, like, don't let things distract you. Don't get put off your course. And if you believe in yourself, keep believing in yourself and work hard, you'll get where you need to get to. And they'll pay attention sooner or later. Nice one, man. Thank you, DJ Semtex, up in the house. Be Mr. Brown, be Mr. Brown, DJ Semtex. Nice one, bro. Make sure you peep that book too and the album when it comes out.